What's up guys? So we are going to work on the buggy trick, right? This crazy glitch in the matrix type move. Um, and the biggest thing that I want you guys to think about first, right, is where we are putting our body, right? So guys, what I see a lot is people just reaching up to their leg, right? Um, comparing this to rubber guard, right? Never want to, I never want to pull my foot past where my knee is, especially the, the person on top of me is bigger, stronger, more athletic. As soon as I'm pulling on my foot and my knee is past my foot, or my foot is past my knee rather, I can really hurt my knee, right? So what we wanna work on is making this space in our buggy choke as small as possible, right? How we're gonna do that is instead of just reaching up to our leg, we're gonna turn our body, I'm gonna get up to my elbow, not halfway, I'm gonna get my elbow as high as I can, and I'm gonna push off this elbow. When I push off this elbow, I can continue to push off my hand right here, which is gonna lead into more options um, as we get deeper into the buggy choke, okay? A big thing people do wrong here is they leg curl really hard and then they insert this uppercut super low right here. We get a lot of space here, guys. So what we wanna focus on is we wanna focus on getting our elbow pit flush in our knee pit, right? So how we do that, we're gonna blade up to our elbow, extension here, I'm doing like a crunch sit up. I'm gonna make sure my legs relaxed as I extend it a little bit. I'm inserting my arm in my leg, I do a slight Hitch hiker rotation with my thumb and I get my elbow pit and my knee pit. Now I can lock my dorsiflexion on this leg. Now I can lock this and then right, don't put the cake in, in the oven wrong on the wrong temperature, right? Make sure you don't go, if you go flat now all of a sudden the whole choke's gonna break down, right? As soon as you're here and everything's locked, you need to keep this side crunch. You need to not bring this elbow to this hip and you bring this elbow to this bottom hip. We need to close this space right here, right? So instead of falling backward, we're gonna work on falling to our side and engaging our lat, okay? So we're gonna start from side control right here, guys. <clears throat> right, our opponent passed our guard, I don't know how, but we're here, right? First thing we're gonna do is get our frames in, right? So my right frame, not my hand, not my elbow, the middle of my forearm is going right on his hip, okay? Just looking to get him away from me a little bit. This top side hand, I'm gonna pull my elbow back rotate around his throat, grab his shoulder, okay? What I wanna look for here, guys, is two things. A little bit of space just to get my bottom side knee in, right? So when I get my bottom side knee in, what I want him to do is I want him to push into me a little bit. When he pushes into me, I wanna push back, right? We don't wanna like, just like let go of this frame and jump up to the buggy choke. We wanna make that space small, like I was saying, right? So as I push in, he pushes back. I keep this frame tight, shoot it past his neck, and the first thing we're gonna do here, guys, is we're not gonna reach for our leg. First goal is making the space small, okay? So I'm gonna elbow strike the back of his head, right? Not like a crazy elbow, just breaking down the space. And then look, I'm using my bottom side shin to extend as I pinch towards his ear. I'm gonna work on blading myself up, getting up to my elbow, extending my arm up into my elbow pit, knee pit. And then from here, as I get my engagement, my lat into his neck. I'm gonna work on bringing my hand to the inside right here so I don't get von flued. Not lowering my grip here, staying up top, shooting this through, engaging right there, okay? So, nice and slow guys, right? Start to finish, every detail is really important, right? So for now, right, beginner one, right from side control, frame one, frame two. Guys, if we can get this knee in right here, this is huge. This is huge, right? Because I can control the distance between our hips, right? So that's the first thing I'm going for, but don't act like it's almost like a big deal, right? So like one frame, two frame, and I just kind of bridge into him and then just get this, this knee right here. As I'm doing that, I'm pushing this frame into his neck and I shoot this past him, right? A lot of times he'll pinch into me right here. That's exact, I want that. I want that, it helps me blade my body, get up, Right, we can't get up to our elbow halfway. We get up to our elbow all the way. Be ready to push off our hand. Look how I don't reach for my leg. Look how we make this space small. Elbow strike, knee pinch. I extend my arm. This leg is relaxed. I rotate my hitchhiker right here. Elbow pit is in my knee pit. I repeat, elbow pit is in my knee pit. Now I can dorsiflex. Now I bring this hand through. I lock my S grip or gable grip right here. As I extend this leg, continue to engage my lap. Get that lock going. 
Okay, last last time guys, All right? Frame on the hip. Don't don't use your hand, don't use your elbow right in the middle, right? Shoot this frame through the neck. I can hip escape a little bit, but what I like to do is I like to like really bridge into them to find this space, and then they like to push in real hard to take this arm triangle, right? They think they're getting an arm triangle, right? That's the trick. Right? They think they're getting side control, that's the trick. They think they're getting this pass, that's the trick. Elbow strike, knee pinch as I'm getting up on this elbow. Look how this leg, look how this leg controls the distance, guys. Look how it might not be able to reach right here. When I push away and hip escape, I can lock this up perfect, right? I'm gonna look for this inside pinch. Right there, 